at the beginning of the 13th century in a Benedictine monastery in Bohemia, modern Czech Republic. A monk was sentenced to be buried alive for breaking his vows. To avoid this severe punishment, he promised one night to create a book that would forever glorify the monastery, including all human knowledge. Closer to midnight, he was convinced that he couldn't complete this task alone, so he offered a special prayer addressed not to God, but to the fallen angel Lucifer, asking him to help finish the book in exchange for his soul. The devil completed the manuscript, and the monk, in gratitude for his help, added an image of the devil. In tests to recreate the work, it has been calculated that it would take 20 years of continuous writing to reproduce just calligraphy without illustrations or embellishments. Maybe it's just a legend, and it's impossible to prove or disprove it with certainty, but here's what we can be sure of. The monk wrote the largest medieval Bible in the world. They called it the Codex Gigas, which translates from Latin as giant book. It is also called the Devil's Bible because of the huge illustration of Lucifer himself in it and the legend that accompanies the book. The Codex Gigas measures 36 inches by 20 inches and weighs nearly 165 pounds. To create it, the skins of 160 donkeys were required. Based on the amount of text and the details of the illumination, it has been estimated that the book took about 30 years to complete. In other words, the anonymous writer seems to have devoted most of his life to the creation of the Devil's Bible. In addition to the Bible in Latin, the book contains an encyclopedia, Antiquities of the Jews by Joseph, a list of monks of the monastery, mythical spells for all occasions, from curing diseases to exorcism, and much more. A strange mixture. And despite the fact that this gigantic book seems to be the work of a dozen monks, handwriting analysis indicates that the manuscript was the work of a single scribe. But not all the books we found were so easy to read and understand their meaning. There are those that are beyond the understanding of modern scientists, although they were written back in the Middle Ages. Today, we will tell you which book raises doubts about the origin of mankind, how to make a potion of eternal life, and why Jesus was not actually crucified. Until the 18th century, alchemy was regarded as a true scientific discipline, taken quite seriously, and the science had two main goals. First, the manufacture of the Philosopher's Stone, capable of turning base metal into gold. The second is to make an elixir that will give you eternal life and cure all diseases. Both instructions, though expressed in rather obscure and cryptic terminology, can be found in the Ripley Scroll, a manuscript named after George Ripley, most famous from the 15th century alchemists of the century. Ripley's scroll opens with an image of an alchemist, the figure of the creator. He is holding the philosopher's egg, a glass flask in which you will conduct all your experiments. On his handles is written, you must make water from earth and earth from air, air from fire and fire from earth. Further in the scrolls, the method of preparing the philosopher's stone and the elixir of life is described step by step. The instructions are accompanied by mysterious drawings of dragons, a philosophical tree, and various fantastic animals. For that time, alchemy was the same real science as physics is now. Even Isaac Newton did many alchemical experiments, and his notes show a copy of the beginning of Ripley's scrolls. Perhaps he also tried to create a philosopher's stone and a potion of life. It is difficult to say how true these instructions are, or are they just interesting fantasies of an alchemist? But these scrolls give us a clear understanding of medieval ideas about science. The archives of the Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library at Yale University hold a single copy of the 240-page book, written in 1420. The book contains handwritten texts and drawings, so mysterious that they have not been able to decipher until now. This is the Voynich Manuscript, considered one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in the history of mankind, and perhaps its solution will turn our entire history on its head. The book is full of drawings of flying castles, fantastic plants, astrological charts, 
zodiacal circles, planets, and stars with human faces. But the most mysterious thing about this book is the text that accompanies the drawings. But the point is not even that it is written there, but that it is written in a language that is still not known to modern science. The book was discovered by the Polish bookseller Wilfred Wojnik in Italy in 1912. The find surprised the booksellers, and its content forced Wojnik to buy the book and bring it to the United States, where experts have been puzzling over it for more than a century. Scientists claim that the text in the book has all the features of a real language, although this language has never been seen anywhere except in this book. This conclusion was made because letters and groups of letters are repeated with a certain frequency in the book. The same can be traced in text in any other language. So we can say with confidence that this is not just a meaningless set of characters. Although some characters are taken from other languages, many of them are unique. The pages are richly decorated with mysterious patterns and drawings. There are currently three theories regarding the content of the book. The first version. The text is written in a secret cipher in order to hide the mysterious meaning. Such codes are used to convey important information in war so that the enemy who captures the text cannot understand its meaning. The second version is a fake book, which was deliberately written in a meaningless language with symbols that don't carry any information, and its author is a medieval swindler or possibly Wilfried Wojnik himself. But then, according to this version, the author tried very hard, because the text, as we said above, has all the features of a real language. And the book itself, according to the latest radiocarbon analysis, was made in 1412. So this version is very controversial. The third version claims that the book was written in an existing language, but in a hitherto unknown script, Perhaps the author was trying to create an alphabet for the language that was previously spoken, but never written. In this case, the Voynich manuscript may be like the Rongo Rongo tablets invented on Easter Island. Now, they cannot be read, because those who knew this letter are not left alive. But apart from the main theories, there are a lot of conjectures about the book, ranging from an encyclopedia of alien planets and animals to the fact that this book was written by Italian witches and even Martians. Perhaps one day its decoding will turn the whole history of mankind upside down. Or maybe scientists just wasted 100 years pointlessly unraveling the fable. The Voynich Manuscript is not the only book that has not yet been deciphered. When scientists discovered the Rohonk Codex, they faced a similar problem. The text is written in a language that is not even clear how to read. Maybe left to right, maybe top to bottom. It remains a mystery to this day. The book was discovered in Hungary in the early 19th century. Its author is unknown, as is its origin. The meaning of the text and illustrations have been investigated by many scholars and hobbyists without a definitive conclusion. They speculate that it was ancient Hungarian, Romanian, and even Hindu, but none of these theories have been proven. The book contains drawings of Christian, Muslim, and Hindi symbols, as well as pagan images. In 1866, the Hungarian historian Karoli Zabo suggested that the Codex was a practical joke on Samuel Literati Nemes, a Transylvanian Hungarian antiquary. Nemes is known to have created many historical forgeries that fooled even some of the most famous Hungarian scholars of the day. But this theory is also not very close to the truth. Nemesha was a nationalist and created his crafts to spur the national pride of the Hungarian people. But the Ronk Codex is simply impossible to read, so this forgery would be meaningless to Nemesh. And radiocarbon analysis showed that the paper was made in 1530. That means that Nemesh had to find a paper that was 300 years old and write this text on it. Not an easy task. Although not all mysterious books are incomprehensible, some are written in quite ordinary language, but they make you see the historical or religious pictures from a completely different angle. Like the Bible, for example. But this Bible is no ordinary one. It was discovered relatively recently in Turkey and was written about 1500 years ago and supposedly contains the Gospel of Barnabas. 
The sacred words are handwritten in Syriac, in luminous gold letters, on loosely knitted animal skins. The Gospel of Barnabas is not included in the New Testament, along with the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Barnabas was a disciple of Christ, and the work claims that Jesus was not crucified, instead saying that he ascended to heaven alive, and Judas Iscariot was crucified instead. Also, the 1500-year-old Bible says that Jesus Christ was not the Son of God, but simply a prophet who delivered the Word of God. The Vatican has made an official request for access to a 1500-year-old Bible, but the Bible, said to be worth $28 million, is now securely held by the Turkish government. Just photocopies of pages from the Holy Book are selling for a staggering $1.7 million, according to the Christian Post. This work is contrary to the ideas suggested in the widely circulated New Testament, and instead bears a marked resemblance to the Muslim interpretation of Jesus. There is even a story in the Gospel of Barnabas in which Jesus foretells the coming of the Prophet Muhammad. Because of this, many followers of Islam believe that the original Gospel work was supposedly by the Vatican Library. Do you think this book is real or just a fake? Write your opinion in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Every week, we release new interesting videos. See you!